Greetings, greetings. Modupa in my language in Yoruba it means I'm grateful. Grateful once again for our second episode. Thank you for joining me. My name is Moji Sola Adu, and I am Mo the Oracle. I am a healer, um, Reiki practitioner, um, a future yoga therapist, and um, I'm an award-winning media personality. And I am also receiving an award for presidential award for volunteerism um, coming this December um, for all my volunteer work that I've been doing through the course of the years, um, helping so many different people. And I believe the most powerful and the most courageous thing you can do for yourself is to decide to heal. And also this whole exploration, exploration into self-discovery, who are we? When we peel off the layers of all these different labels that people have imprinted on us since we were in the womb and all these different things, all these obligations, when you strip all those layers away and we really get to the core of who you are, whether you're Purusha spirit or whatever, your divine self, who is that? So through self-discovery, we learn a lot of introspection. Who are we? How do we learn to let go? How do we own our power? How do we harness our power? How do we practice discernment? Also a little bit of some different life stories that I've been through and um, some meditations and some different things. And I hope you enjoy this podcast and I hope it inspires you or someone else. And if you like it, make sure that you share it and make sure, you know, you hit the subscribe button and, um, you know, just share, you know, sharing is caring. So before we get started into um, our podcast, I usually start to, you know, do an affirmation just to set the mood. And also today's subject is the art of letting go. What are some of the ways you can let go of things that no longer serve you in your life? Because, you know, people come for a reason and for a season. And that goes for people, places, people, and things in general. What were they serving in your life? Do you have to continue to hold on to them? Or is it time for you to go? You know, and sometimes that could be the hardest thing. Letting go. Because, you know, in yoga, we talk about attachment. We cause our own suffering because we stay attached to things, materialistic things, people. And sometimes we associate our worth because of materialistic things or people in general. That's what they told us. The lies they tell, the lies they tell. Today's affirmation says, I am in sync with the flow of life. I am in sync with the flow of life. And today's affirmation cards come from Spirit Junkie, one of my favorite card decks. Um, I love them. So in this moment, in this season, a lot of you are awakening. You're waking up. No more lies. You know, our parents and, 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 and past generations told us the best that they could, and they gave us the best resources that they could from what they knew and what was passed down to them, right? Some of them didn't know any better, and some of them were woke, right? And then society told us that some of the wisdom they told us was wrong, right? And in order for you to, um, you know, be assimilated, you know, and to conform, you had to change your thought process, right? So a lot of us were in survival to fit in. Everyone wants to be accepted and wants to fit in, right? And you were made uniquely and divinely made. You have a gift that's divinely given to you that no one else can do. Yeah, there are a thousand photographers. Yeah, there's a thousand healers. Yeah, there's a thousand lawyers and doctors, but they don't have your sauce and your gift. And that's the thing that separates you from everyone, right? But there's fear sometimes that steps in and tells us that, we're not good enough. And then there's this self-doubt, you know, that's attached to the ego. And a lot of this is also external um, influence in your life that is, you know, has told you maybe family, friends, colleagues that told you, oh no, that's too risky. Don't do that. But what everything in life is a risk, right? Because we don't know the outcome. We can't control it, right? My mother always said, things change, life change. Things don't always say the same, right? So we're constantly changing, right? And we become adaptable like water, shifting and changing through the times of evolution. Change is inevitable, right? 
When we look at letting go, letting go is not an easy process. People, there's so many gurus and so many different, oh yeah, you just gotta let go. And people don't tell you when you go through the healing process that letting go is some hard stuff, man. It's some hard stuff, but you don't have to do it alone. You have different safe spaces that you can go to. You can confide in whoever it is. Maybe it might be somebody religious that you know. And if not religious, it could be um, a yoga therapist like me. It could be um, uh, it could be a, a therapist. It could be a psychologist. Whatever works for you. But remember, you have to decide you want to let go. And sometimes you don't know where to start from because you don't actually know what you need sometimes, right? You're so bamboozled by all this external influence whether it be that thing that social media as you're scrolling down, comparing your life to others, um, or you're looking at other people, maybe relationships or jobs or different things and, and wondering and judging yourselves of how inadequate you are, how much lacking you are. What are you truly lacking? When all the resources lie within you and around you, you are divinely intelligent you have so much wisdom, but someone told you that you weren't good enough and they turned the light off. And we have to rediscover that light again, right? The throat chakra is cut off. Yeah, you might be speaking and outside you're fierce, but when you shut the doors, there are so many things that you are fearful of the judgment, maybe someone might uncover my past. You're not the same person from that time and that day. Sometimes we have to let go of these old ideologies, these old thoughts, and some of them are attached to our culture, our traditions, our mindsets, our fears, our ego. Some of them could be parental. Some of them might be the idea of what it means to deal with authority or the way we look at ourselves and our self-talk. Self-talk is a big thing because sometimes we are so stuck on seeing the negative aspect of things. So it's easier to be pessimistic and say, oh, it's going to be a bad day. Every time we say that, we are using the power of the tongue and we are manipulating our scenario. Instead of saying it's going to be a bad day, you say it's going to be a good day. It's happening right now in this moment. This is a good day. Letting go is not easy. But one thing I do, there's this, pro, this, this practice that I want you to think about, right? Letting go also comes with a set of forgiveness. Forgiveness within oneself and forgiving others that have disappointed us, have harmed us. And it's not about reconciliation. It's about forgiveness for you to move into your liberation and your freedom. Unlocking those shackles that hold you and bind you. It's time to rewrite your story because you've been a part of everyone else's story and all these other people have been attached to your story. But now we relinquish these people from your story and come back to who you are. Who are you? When we let go of this trauma, when we heal this trauma, when we change the mindset, when we let go of ideologies, when we unlearn some things, we have a little bit of clarity and we let go of attachment because some of the attachment is what we attach our self-worth with. You're already worthy just as you are. You create change just by your presence. Your divine presence is immaculate. I can say that all day and people can say that all day, but you have to see it within the mirror. And a lot of us don't see that, right? But let's do a simple thing. This is a simple thing right here. If you're available, I want you to draw a box, right? So draw one box, right? On the left. Draw another box 
on the right. Then put a little box down at the bottom. So you got three boxes now, right? And you know the process of elimination, right? Because sometimes we can say we need to let go of something and we can talk about it all day. But when you visually see it and you actually do the work to actually move it and shift it, then the process is actually being put into action, right? So we call this fountain and drain practice, fountain and drain practice, because people can come into our lives. Things can come into our lives. Events can come into our lives and they can be so sparkly and magical and so pretty and glistening with cherries on top. And we're so infatuated and we love it so much and we don't practice our discernment. Or it could have started as a fountain or presented itself as a fountain. It was pouring into you. But behind, it could have really been draining you, but you weren't paying attention because you weren't practicing your discernment. And you truly might have really loved and cared for that person or that situation or that thing. Maybe it's volunteerism or anything, you know, that root of what you really want to do. Like all of those things are being attached to this situation, right? But later on down the road, maybe another year down the road or two years down the road, or maybe 30 years down the road, you realize, wow, this person never truly liked me. And they were always saying pessimistic things to me when it came to me. Oh, this job just used me and never cared about my health. Every time I tell them I could do something, they would work me even more harder. This event that I've been going to, what is the benefit of this? Is it better feeling other people? Am I, am I giving back in a way? So we start analyzing things and analyzing our time. Your time and your energy is your currency, okay? And it's very precious. So be careful how you spend it. Because people see it and they want it. It is attached to your light and your essence. Be careful. So now that we have the three boxes, on top of the first box, you can put which side it works, it works for you. It could be the left side, right side. You're going to put a fountain there, okay? Type right fountain on top of there. And then the other box, I want you to put drain, okay? And then the middle, but the box that's at the bottom, you want to put things you're questioning. So you're going to put a question mark there, right? So this allows us to focus and visually move things and organize them just like you organize your day and your calendar. We're organizing things, places, people, places, and things that are getting in the way of our growth, our movement, okay? So we start at foundation. You write, you can write, and this list can be long, it can be short, but take the time just for this moment and you'll add to it later after this podcast. Write a list of things that you feel are pouring into you. They are filling up your well, filling up your cup. You feel energized, exuberated. You feel like, you know, enlightened. I mean, and you feel like you're getting wisdom and you're also pouring into them and the feeling is mutual and you're excited about it. It could be a person, place, or thing. Put that in your fountain, okay? So in this situation in the fountain, you're not pouring from an empty cup because you're full and they're full. You're full together, right? So there's equilibrium. There's no off balance, right? So it's equally distributed, right? So now let's go over to the drain, okay? Let's look down and look at the drain here. When you're looking at the drain, I mean, this could be a conversation with somebody. You're calling somebody, you might want to express yourself, but then you second cuss and say, oh, why did I call this person? Now they've turned the situation to them. Or, wow, when I told this person, all they want to do is gossip all the time. Or, ah, when I talk to this person, it just drains my energy. That could be when you're on the phone with them. That could be when you're at an event and your intuition and your stomach feels it because your stomach is your second brain. This is where your trust and intuition lies. And you're like, ah, or this event is draining me. 
this job is draining me. Maybe I need to adjust my times or maybe I need to figure out something else. Or maybe this relationship at the time, we need to talk about what I need because in this moment, it's training me. How can we work smart, not hard, right? So I'll put the list of the things that are draining you, right? All of the things that are draining you in this moment, in this time, in this week, in this month, within this year, things that are draining you. It could be small, short, but if there's something predominant that's popping up, put it there in that box, okay? And mind you, when we finish this podcast, you might the list might get longer, right? So now let's go to that last box right there, that last box, right? Anything that you're questioning, because there's some things that, you know, it, it comes with an attachment, right? You know, that that partner that we love, we care about them, but they're not treating you right. They're abusive, you know, verbally and physically. That person just is not emotionally available for you, and they might be dealing with their own things. This job is not doing what it needs to do for you. It's not paying you. These friend circles that you have really might not be your friends or that individual or those events. Do they really serve you? Are you really missing out going to those events? Or can we pick and choose the events that really matter? that provides some substance in your life besides you draining yourself and try to fit the status quo and showing up. So thinking about these things, right? Go into that box that has the question mark and go in there and put the things that you're still questioning, okay? Make a list of those things. And take your take a time, take a moment to just think. And now what you need to do is Take a moment and really think on this. Do I still need these things in my life? And why am I still attached to them? I've been given so many warning signs and so many things, and my intuition has told me, but why am I still here? Do I feel like I'm losing out on something if I let this go? Is the worst going to happen if I let this go? I've been in the worst situations in my life and I'm still here. So let's think about it. So this is your exercise for today in today's podcast. And thinking about different ways you can shift and move. And sometimes when you're letting go of people, it is hard. It is hard. It is hard. And sometimes you sometimes you don't even need this. For some people, you can analyze and see. Is actually talking to them and expressing how you feel, does that work? Do you If you know the person, will that work or will it cause more conflict? And do you have the energy for that? Sometimes it's just silence. And some people get the picture. But it's up to you. Remember, once again, I can't tell you anything to do, but this is an activity to physically show you how you can shift. And then eventually, once you narrow down what is the weakest link, what is causing your suffering, then you can understand it's time for you to let these things go. And it's up to you. Once again, no one can force you to let things go. You have to decide when enough is enough. And on that note, We're going to go ahead and we're going to get into a meditation practice where we're going to talk about forgiveness and letting go, okay? So I invite you to get into a stable seat here. You can sit on a couch. You can sit anywhere you want, or you can sit in an easy pose or um, seated pose, making sure your sit bones are connected. You can um, widen your stance if you're sitting to make sure you're supported. You can add a cushion to your lower back, to your lower limbar. And you can place your hands facing up to receive energy or you can place them facing down, okay? Or you can place your index fingers to your thumb, invite wisdom. So we can get a little clarity here to know the answer and what's the next move you're gonna make because you already know what it is, okay? Just have to get out our own way. 
So I invite you to inhale, roll the shoulders behind the ears and soften the shoulders. You can either close your eyes, lower your gaze, or focus on something that makes you happy. And let's start off with finding your breath, a regular breath, fighting your breath here. Inhale through the nose and out through the mouth. And also remember, almost like a golden string coming all the way up through your chakra system to the crown of your head, lengthening your spine and your neck and drop the chin a little bit, making sure you have space for breathing. Inhale through the nose and out through the mouth, allowing yourself ease. Allowing yourself ease through the breath and riding the wave of the breath here. Allowing ease in the space in between your eyebrows, allowing ease in your jaw, allowing ease in your shoulders, allowing ease in your elbows, allowing ease in your wrists, allowing ease in your fingers, allowing ease in your knees, in your ankles, in your toes. Allow yourself to settle within your body and feel grounded and supported into the earth in this moment. Feel your connectivity, settling into the body, riding the wave of the breath And in this moment, I invite you to take an inhale and hold for two. Inhale, hold, one, two, and exhale slowly. Inhale, hold for two, one, two, and exhale slowly. And now you can go back and settle into your breath, riding the wave of your breath, allowing yourself to settle in. Noticing your body. And on the next inhale, I invite you to place both of your hands on your heart space here. And let's take this moment to just honor you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for showing up for yourself in this moment. You show up for everyone else, but in this moment, you're showing up for you. So I thank you. I thank you. Inhale and exhale, allowing yourself to notice your heart space. If it's feeling heavy today, allow yourself to send some energy into your heart space so it's no heavier today. And know that all the decisions that you make today in this time and in this space are true and with love and with empathy. You know exactly what you need to do trusting your inner wisdom and releasing the hands from off of the heart space and continuing to breathe here in this moment, knowing that you are enough, knowing that you lack nothing, everything lies within you and around you, allowing yourself ease. And with every breath you take, allow yourself to feel a little bit more lighter, knowing that you are safe. You are safe. In this moment in time, you are safe. You are supported and you are not alone. In this next inhalation, imagine a white light coming through your body sending you energy to the areas that you need support in in this moment. Allow yourself to receive energy. Allow yourself to receive your wisdom. Allow yourself to receive your power. Allow yourself to overstand and understand your inner wisdom. Allow yourself to know your truth. Allow yourself true clarity as you continue to breathe and check in with yourself.
In this moment, I invite you to place your hands and turn them upward to receive. And I will say these words to you and you can say them to yourself. I invite you as you breathe and allow and let go. Inhale open and exhale free. As you continue to breathe, you get lighter and lighter and lighter as you ride the wave of the breath. In this moment, I let go of everything that doesn't serve me. In this moment, I let go of everything that does not serve me. In this moment, I let go of things that do not connect with love and light. In this moment, I let go of things that are not the truth. In this moment, I let go of negative thought to myself. In this moment, I forgive myself. In this moment, I forgive myself. In this moment, I forgive all places, people, and things that who have hurt me and disappointed me for my own freedom and liberation. In this moment, I forgive all things, people, places, and things that have hurt me and disappointed me for my freedom and liberation. In this moment, I am free. In this moment, I am free. In this moment, I am free. In this moment, I am safe. In this moment, I am safe. In this moment, I call back my power from every place and everything and every event from past, present, and future that try to siphon my power, I call back my power now. I call back my power now. I receive my power now. I know my power. I know my power. Take a moment as you continue to breathe and let that energy surge through your body as you release and let go. On the next inhalation, imagine a golden light coming over you, surrounding you from the crown of your head all the way to your toes, to your root, and you can feel the white light and the energy and the divine light coming through you through every system of your chakra. And in this moment, your ancestors are there supporting you and laying their hands on you and letting you know that you are not alone. Allow them to hold you and support and love in this moment. Allow them to hold you and support you in this moment. They are proud of you. They are proud of you. They are proud you didn't give up on yourself. They are proud that you are living the life that you deserve. Allow them to comfort you and hold you. In this moment, you are safe. In this moment, you are protected within your body and around you. In this moment, you are safe. And in this moment, I invite you to receive energy as I send you some Reiki energy. 
And you have to give permission that you want to receive my energy today. Sending you energy to the crown of your head to relieve any old thoughts that you no longer serve you anything anymore. Only thing that lives within you is love and light here today. May you have clarity today and know your wisdom and trust yourself. Sending you energy to your ears so you can hear what you need to hear today. Sending you energy to your eyes so you can see what you need to see, sight beyond sight. Sending you energy to your throat so you can speak your honest truth. Sending you energy to your heart space so it's no longer heavy today. Sending you energy to your shoulders so they're not heavy of the weight of the world. Sending you shoulders, energy to your solar plexus, your second brain where your truth and your intuition lies. May you trust yourself in this new season. May you honor yourself. May you know your power. May you know your strength. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. Sending you energy to your knees so they can strengthen you on your feet as you stand rooted and connected to your ancestors and the divine. Sending you energy all around you, removing anything that no longer serves you here. May you be well, may you be kind to yourself. May you be free of all illness and disease. May you have patience and grace for yourself. So it said, so it shall be done. You are free from shackles. Remember who you are. Take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. One more deep breath in and blow it out with an ah, let everything go. Start bringing your awareness into the space, wiggling your toes, feeling your ankles, your knees, your wrists and your fingers, rubbing your hands together and placing them over your eyes here and breathing and adjusting your eyes and bringing your fingers, your pinky finger together and your thumbs together here and taking all this information and this goodness that we learned today and bringing them in and closing them and bringing the palms to the sternum, the heart space here and to the sternum and just rubbing this in and knowing that you can take this with you every day, okay? You are powerful, you are strong. You're amazing. Remember who you are. You are royalty. You're amazing. There's nothing you're lacking. Okay. Self discovery is an amazing podcast for you and those who need this encouragement. And to hear these stories, we'll have interviews and we'll have more to come. But thank you for joining in, in our second episode. So stay tuned. We'll also be talking about books and different things of that nature. And if you have any questions, you can always email at loveenergy19 at gmail.com if there's certain questions or different things you want to discuss. But today we talked about the art of letting go. What are some ways to let go of things that no longer serve you? Are you ready to let go? I love you. Talk to you later. And remember... Life may throw you a curveball, but you're in charge of the way it goes, all right? It's your girl, Molda Oracle, and I'm out. Peace.